Hello, in this video I will show you how to um, edit the host file, um, add the IPs uh, for Rack 1 and Rack 2, and uh, after after this and uh, I will show you how to install Oracle prerequisites. Mm, but first you need to make sure that you are connected to internet. Um, this is an online uh, repository. So I can, from there, I can download uh, all the, uh, apply all the pre requisites. So let's get started to show you how to do this. Um, first, I will log into a virtual machine. I will start up the virtual machine. <clears throat> And also I prepared already a document, or not a document, it's a file. <clears throat> Inside this file, you can see here the public IP. Uh, if you not, uh, if you are not involved from the first video, you can see the previous video about how we configure the public and private, uh, the private and public uh, <clears throat> network for the for rack uh, refer to video number three I think yes uh, video number three so from there you can just understand what the what's the idea uh, still we are working on the rack one this one the rack one and this also the private but we need to add both of them see here I comment the scan listener uh, sorry, the scan uh, the scan uh, IB with the um, with the name uh, because we need to configure a DNS because and uh, configure DNS around Robin DNS to get each one of them uh, alternatively. Yeah, that's mean uh, in the cycle fashion. Um, and also this uh, to install the uh, this is not included this is for installing the prerequisites the pre-install uh, stuff for rack so I will see just if the uh, virtual machine is started okay it's started I will just log in okay enter After login, I will uh, just uh, open the okay, on full screen mode. I will open the terminal. I will switch user to root. From root, uh, I can um, open, sorry. Okay, uh, gedit to etc hosts. Uh, I need just to edit this one. See this, the path. Um, I just copy paste the from the node plus plus file. This one, I prepared them already. Just from here. Okay, Control C. Then here, Control V. Then Control S. Okay. So um, you can just close, save to make sure this is saved already. Okay. Close. Then cat. It's etc hosts. Make sure that's okay. It's saved and applied for this file. So after this, just we need to make sure that everything is uh, okay. The, this machine is connected. The rack one machine host name uh, is connected to to the internet. Okay, we can ping. 
8.8.8.8 in this an internet okay dns or ns lookup google.com okay we are connected to to internet already so I will try just to connect through SSH if you remember from the previous video that I configured the SSH connection so from here I can I think I can also connect to the okay root just enter the password and then try to copy this one okay to apply the prerequisites Control C and then press enter okay so just to download it will apply automatically so no need for just waiting until this finished it will update the kernel parameter and uh, all this stuff but it need it's need time to to be done Uh, okay. Okay. Um. Finish dependency. Resol. Okay. Resolution. Here we can see, okay, okay, KSH, Oracle, okay, it's completed, then, Okay, completed. So um, it's done successfully. Okay, uh, until here I done. Just uh, wait uh, for next video to illustrate what you can just uh, what what this script did and what is done inside the operating system when we just apply them. So um, until that time. Uh, hope you are doing well. Thank you for watching.